Hey guys, I hope you guys are safe at home in quarantine, but don't forget to subscribe here at Fino Boxing and follow my personal one at Adriana underscore sports. And guess what? We're going to knock out this coronavirus. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> when you look at, I don't know if you do this, but when you picture a five-year plan, obviously you're only 22 going on, you know, let's say when yeah. the time you're 27, what do you think you, you will accomplish by, you know, when we speak, you know, five years from now? You know, sky's the limit, man. I always think about my next opponent, never overlooking whoever that is. But, you know, the sky's the limit, man. I want to I wanna take over this division in the future. I want to take over 147. I want to do what not many people have done. I want to just leave a legacy in this sport. You know, me being Mexican, I could really take it to another level, like Anello. You know, I have such a big fan base. Soy muy orgulloso de ser mexicano. And, you know, always got to keep grinding. But I want to I wanna be one of the best that come out and especially where I'm from, from Santa Ana, make a big name out of myself, capture world titles in various weight classes. And, you know, sky's the limit for me. Yeah, obviously, we saw you, you know, throw a little Spanish in there. What part of Mexico are your parents from? Or, how, you know, when did you pick up the language? Uh, growing up, I never talked any Spanish. That's my fault. My parents would always get mad at me talking Spanish. So I started picking it up when I was about eight, nine. And then my dad's from Defe. My, mom, my mom's from Tacatecas. You know, I was born here, but, you know, my blood and my heart's always going to be Mexican. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's good to know. A lot of people, a lot of times, you know, especially when they see Alexis Rocha, they might think, you know, well, you're – and I mean, you, obviously you're an American, but, you know, it's good to yeah, see you embracing, you know, the, the, the Mexican background that you bring to the table, especially with the large fan base. Yeah, of course. Have, yeah. Have you ever done a, a full-time Spanish interview? Yeah, I've done, I've done some with Ernesto. Okay, yeah. How's your Spanish on a, on a 1 through 10? What do you... Uh, now, about, it's about an 8. Okay, that's when I, good. When, yeah. when I first started fighting, you know, I wasn't very comfortable speaking Spanish and going with the flow. I would rate myself like a 3 or 2. I was pretty <laughs> bad. I was, especially with the way I was fighting coming up. Uh, my first couple of fights, I would, do, I would do interviews with Estrella TV. So, from there, I got my practice more and more, and that's when I clicked to me that damn I need to practice this I need to practice Spanish and it's very important you know especially the way I grew up you know with Mexican heritage yeah definitely well why don't we close the interview with this why don't you send the the Spanish speak the Spanish speaking people a mensaje que lo puedo decir a la afición y donde te pueden seguir en tus, en tus, en tus social media si sí, me puedes seguir en, en mi Instagram a Alexis Rocha 777 y quiero dar saludos a todos de, que de son de Zacatecas, Tepatongo y también saludos a todos de la Ciudad de México de F. Muchísimas gracias por todo el apoyo. Gracias. Bueno, Alexis, thank you so much for your time. Muchísimas gracias. Esperamos verte de regreso uh, lo más rápido posible. Gracias, un abrazo. Nos vemos pronto. Muchísimas gracias. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Thank you, man. You too. You too, man. Thanks.